Macros and Macro Navigator Working with macros and macro projects offer several advantages. You can't to say partial schematics under specific names in order to use them later. In the tree of this navigator the macros are displayed in a hierarchical structure. The display types, variants and new now also the placeholders are displayed underneath a node for a macro. You can use the macro navigator for a well-structured display and management of macros in a project. You can use macro projects to manage your macros, partial schematics, and automatically create macros. Using the macro navigator in schematic projects. The macro navigator now also supports the display of macros in schematic projects. This allows you to recognize which window and symbol macros were used in a schematic project. Option Settings, also insert macro boxes, activate. The macros inserted into the project can be updated by means of the macro boxes. New project pages are created when inserting page macros. In the selection dialog select the desired macro. In this dialog you define the manner in which devices are to be numbered on insertion. Using the macro navigator in schematic projects. The macro navigator now also supports the display of macros in schematic projects. This allows you to recognize which window and symbol macros were used in a schematic project. Macros are cut out to pages or projects that are saved for further use. Creating macros is helpful because you do not have to recreate cutouts every time a routine operation comes up. When positioning the macro with the mouse you can also use the additional following keys, Y, plus, X. The macro is fixed at its original position. In macro projects, you can build and structure macros for multiple reusability, apply cross-page value sets then reduce the number of partial circuits, macros. An existing macro is graphically modified and extended. Select the menu items project data macros generate automatically. The areas identified above the macro boxes are stored into the macro directory. The macro navigator now also supports the display of macros in schematic projects. You can use the macro navigator in the schematic project to update several macros existing in a project with the data from the associated macro files by means of the new pop-up menu item update macros. Improvements in the Properties dialog of placeholder objects The redesign of the Assignment tab page makes it easier for you to create and edit placeholder objects. The relevant, selected properties that are relevant for you are immediately visible without a long search. Some improvements have also been made to the Values tab. By specifying variables as modifiable, you can change the values of a value set for these variables when you select the value set. This allows you to adjust the values of the corresponding objects according to your requirements, for example, when inserting macros with placeholder objects. In the Macro Navigator tree, the placeholder objects in the macro are displayed below the hierarchy level of the respective macro variant. The context menu has been extended to include the menu items for placeholder objects, assign value set, and select associated objects. With the help of macro technology, you can create your plant documentation partially automated and save valuable design time.